this is a an example of a plant of the polygonaceae, uh, in the order of polygonales. It's um, in the clade of the pinks, and uh, a lot of those plants are not very showy. The flowers aren't very showy. The plants themselves tend to be kind of, well, weedy, if I have to admit it. Um, and you and they, they, they're uh, fairly prevalent, uh, and the uh, there are some horticultural varieties. I will, I'll show one of you, one of them, a little bit uh, later on. But the the important thing in this particular genus, Polygonum, is the fact that the leaves. Each leaf on in the stem, um, which is simple, you know, uh, 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 and uh, uh, entire. Uh, there's one for uh, this is um, Polygonum cespitosum. There's another very similar one to this, where which has a kind of a dark uh, triangle or diamond shape in the middle of the leaf. Uh, and and and, and that, but this this is uh, cespitosum. It doesn't have that. But what they all have, and what the, the whole group is is kind of tied together by. You wonder why the people why are particular plants put into a group? In this case, all of these pinks, a lot of these pinks, are tied together by a pigment that they that they have and no other plants do, and it's a water soluble pigment. Um, called betalane, uh, for, uh, which is beet red. Beta is beet, and beet and beet, and they are in that in this group. They're not in this particular family, but they are very closely related. And and you can sort of see in that that kind of the pale pinkish color. They're kind of a little washed. They they do get brighter when they're when they're younger, and they have more of that beet red color. But that's an, an important factor that ties all these together. But the most important factor that that the character of this particular uh, family is the fact that when where the leaves join the stem, they are subtended by a sleeve of tissue. Um, I, I, you know, I'm going to show it to you a little bit better down. That that is called the ochrea. And the variations in the ochria the, is, is what really determines the particular species within that family. And I think there might be 60 or 70 of the uh, species in this country. Okay, and I'm gonna show it to you a little bit closer. I'm gonna bring it up and show you what I hope you'll be able to see it more plainly. I don't wanna go out of focus. Uh, but right here, where the leaf is, can you, and I, and I'm trying to think, get a, an angle where you can see the leaves, uh, you know, but, uh, separately. Okay, this leaf, in here, on the stem, around the stem, there is that tissue, which is called the ochria, and it's, in this case, it has long, long fringes which define this particular species. And then let's look at the inflorescence here, which is you know, not very much to look at, but it's you know something we wanna take a look and see. And it can, I don't wanna go out of, out of focus on it. Let me get down to this one here and see if we can see that. There. And, 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 Okay, here, oh here, there we go. All right, there we go. It's actually not an inflorescence of any particular type. There's clusters of three flowers um, along what would, would, might might be a, you know, a, almost like a racine, but there's no, you know, or a spike, but the, 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 it's all not quite defined that way. But each, around each cluster of three flowers, 
There's also a small bit of tissue called the ocreola. It's kind of a miniature ocrea, again, with fringes. But I'm not going to attempt to show you this uh, more. It, it's, you know, it's fairly small. I'm going to put it back here so you can sort of see this. There's ocrea there. There's ocrea there. That's over here. Everywhere where there's a leaf, it is subtended by that tissue. But I want to show you, okay, um, the flowers basically are very small and they are made up of five tepals and uh, five stamens and a kind of a um, superior ovary that um, it has three carpels and it has three tiny little stigma arms on the top of it. And it is, and, and the fruit, which the ovary becomes a fruit, becomes a shiny black akeen. And I'm going to try to show you that. They're tiny. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to show you. Ah, I just lost them. Oh, Lordy. After I carefully put them on here. Oh, wait a minute, here I got, okay. All right, here we go. Can you, can you sort of, can you see them? They're that small. I don't want to lose the focus, but those are the, those are the akines, the fruit of this flower. Okay, I'm gonna put the, oh, you see how sly, they are shiny black. And you can see how they roll, roll, roll around. I just want to, again, show you the... Um, I'm going to take this out of the way so it's clear. I'm going to show you the what, the horticultural variety of that, of the uh, polygonum. Okay, and it's very similar, but, uh, you know, but much larger. The leaf, again, slightly different. You know, still has that kind of long pointy apex, but you can again see here where the uh, leaf joins the stem. It is subtended by a sleeve of tissue. And in this case, it's pretty, uh, you can see it fairly clearly and, and it's kind of rusty colored. So it's, so it's easier for you to see. I wanna show you there, that's, that makes it simpler. Um, and then again, that's the ocrea here, and from the more substantial. So all of the members of this family show that particular characteristic. So you'll be able to recognize that family. Here, take a look at the. Again, this is the horticultural variety. The flowers are much larger. This is really here's that betalane. Here's that red color, really striking. And that, that's the color of that water that ties, you know, like the cactaceae has been moved into this group because it contains that same pigment. So that makes it, you know, an, an interesting factor. Okay, and again, you can see these flowers are more open up. They, 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 they got that to do that. Ours never open up. The five tepals remain pretty much enclosed in a kind of a, oh, I don't know, kind of a cone-like shape. And they never open up and, and, until they f uh, literally fall off and release their uh, uh, fruit, which is that shiny black akeem. So that's about all I need to tell you about this particular family.